Well, here I am back at Etihad South for the opening game of the Premier League season. That's the way I look at it anyway. The Community Shield, uh, City against Arsenal. Uh, thanks very much to returning sponsors, Timson and RRG Group. And I'll be introducing another one at the Burnley game. But also to Kenway Miller uh, solicitors who actually have their own website, which it tells you all that they do. It's Motoring Offence Lawyers. Com, and I'm really appreciative of the new sponsors that have come to support the vlog this coming season. Now, just before I meet some of the fans down here, um, I'm going to do, um, well, I'm going to take you to briefly to my holiday uh, during the summer. This is what I did during the summer. And then we'll see who's down here at Wembley and what the moon is, as ever. But thanks very much to you for coming back again. Great Scott. City are back at Wembley again. It's like back to the future, isn't it, eh, for City? But funnily enough, on my summer holidays, as I'm recording this, that's where I am, on the set, if you like, the real-life place where Back to the Future 3 finished. And talking of 3, City the treble owners as well. So, this is where the trains crashed in Back to the Future 3. Let's find out how City and Arsenal go on today, so back to Wembley. So you're back at Wembley again for the umpteenth time. I know there are a lot of City fans who are boycotting this game and they decided to give the money to the food bank and the reason for boycotting it is because of the kickoff time, four o'clock on a Sunday. And I suppose really it's a campaign that they uh, do on behalf of everybody. So how do you feel about them missing it and you being here? Um, I think it's absolutely tremendous what the guys are doing, firstly. But football's football, sadly. Uh, fan race. Uh, Wembley is one of them trips that we've done the last couple. We've been very lucky to get here. But I personally think we've still got to, still got to fly, the, fly the flag for Man City. So sadly, Wembley, here we are once again. I think it's a battle of fans can ever win in terms of making kickoff times more fan friendly. It would be nice to. I mean, obviously they changed the one hour, which is a big, big time, which is great. But obviously three o'clock, yeah, sensible, family success, but absolutely, yeah. And obviously the things are going on with the rail strikes, etc. But yeah, we should think of it a little bit more as city fans as we can get you, hopefully, a lot more. Today, how important is it? I think it's very important, and there's no such thing as a friendly. Personally, I think it's a good, it's a statement needs to be put down today, and on below, I think that's what we'll do. Just tell me what you're thinking about today, then, and how important it is. I think we'll win 3 0 today. Yeah, but the question is, how important is it not what the score's going to be? Well, it's important. Why? Because it's only a charity game, isn't it? Yeah, Pepsi's are not quite ready. If we win this and the Super Cup and the other one, they care about. We've got all of them in 12 months. So I want this today. It's a 16 ball big. Massive. Yeah. Pepsi, Pepsi claim that the team might not be quite ready yet. Are you buy into that? No. Yeah. Arsenal lost to United in pre-season. They're not going to be on. So it's a bit of psychology from Pep. Yeah. As always. As he always does. Do you know what's true? I couldn't, I'm not really that bothered, but it's just one of them things. I'd love to win it, yeah? It's another trophy, because I call it a trophy, yeah? But if we win it, them lot will be calling it the Mickey Mouse trophy like they do. Them at Scousers, won't they? Yeah, if they win it, there's a bus parade around Manchester, isn't there? Yeah. That's what about it. the turnout? I mean, obviously there was a bit of a worry that City fans wouldn't come because there's been a boycott organised by the 1894. I thought it was pathetic, that. I thought it was pathetic, to be honest. A mate of mine, uh, an old fellow I know, that you, and his wife goes to City out matches at City, and he's uh, he was one of them who instigated it all, and he's in Blackpool today, said, I'm not even watching it match. And he's a City fan all his life. So by your actions, you think everybody should be here? Yeah, I do. What do you feel, Tom? Yeah, I think they should be here, yeah. Still support City. Look forward to the new season. Move on. Do you classify this as a glorified friendly or as a trophy or...? Well, it, I mean, it's originally, it is for charity, isn't it? That's, that's the origins of the game, so... I'm assuming that's where the, the profits still go, so... No, for me, carry on. <laughs> 
the City win this because they're underprepared, says Pep, because they came back two weeks later than Arsenal. Yeah, well, I think I think the, I think the pre-season friendlies have gone on, up a notch. I mean, the days of playing Macclesfield, you know, they, that, we're at a level now. We're playing Bayern, you know, the champions of uh, different countries. Come on, we're on a different level. So rather than this being a charity game, which I know it is, this is it. This, this is a statement game. Yeah, for the players, for the players, it is. They want a place in the tie, in the in the team, don't they? So, no. The thing Lucky is about what you were saying before. Is my argument back to them when they started it? I said, but you don't argue about going to Southampton for a 5:30 kickoff, and then you can't get back on a Sunday night or Crystal Palace. You know what I mean? We're going on. Uh, what are you what are you going to argue about this for? We, if it had been half past five kickoff, we could have still got back to Manchester because there's trains. So what's your problem? That's me anyway. You know. City going to win today? I hope so. I'm not one. I don't bet on City at one bit. I do not bet ever on City. If you had done it last few years, you'd have won a lot of money. I know I would. My granddaughter, my granddaughter bets on her all the time. She's like, what? But I just got this thing, I won't do it. <laughs> yeah. Well, enjoy the game. Yeah, enjoy. thanks very much. Thanks very much. Thank yeah, cheers. Well, that was the mood of some fans outside the ground, but here we are in a sunbathed Wembley Stadium, ready for the big kickoff. And if you think about it, three trophy games for City in a row. The FA, I know there was the Chelsea lifting the Premier League, but I'm talking about games where a trophy was directly at stake. FA Cup final against United, Champions League final against Inter Milan, and now Arsenal Community Shield here at Wembley. So here we are, you've seen it all David now, you've seen City win the treble and here we are to start the new season. It hardly seems to have been a summer, does it? Yeah, well, it, things have gone very quickly and uh, yeah, this, um, with the pre-season in Asia, I thought some interesting observations given uh, Pep's starting lineups, changes and stuff like that, um, to the point that there is an opportunity to win a trophy today, but I think this is uh, possibly Pep's last pre-season game rather than going out there to start an unprecedented quadruple or quintuple or whatever it is, five wins, but yeah, it's going to be, going to be interesting. It sounds as if he's trying to play down doing the treble again. Do you think mm. it could happen? I think this will be the toughest year, so I'm just thinking in my head there what the opposition are. Um, obviously with Arsenal and uh, I think Arteta and the way he set out his pre-season, he's wanting to do one better, but um, played in the game yesterday, a game for Ukraine, and Mudrik was playing. <laughs> he's good. Um, I think Chelsea are going to be a, a danger this season for, for City. I think United with an iron are going to be a danger, so it's possible, of course, but um, I think this is going to be a tough, tough season for anyone who's going to win the Premier League. I'm glad to be back. Sorry? You're glad to be back. Oh, of course, yeah, yeah. What's, what's, what's the point of having a summer? <laughs> Today's trip to Wembley means to you? I like it's the first time in Wembley, so yeah, it'll be really good. So you're here because... It's easy to get tickets for this one. No, no, we go no. all the time for Man City anyways. Yeah, um, yeah. I live in Birmingham, she's from Stafford, well, so... I, I used to live in Manchester, so, um, you know, this is, a, this is a really big game. This is the first game that I've been away as well, so... Uh, so pretty exciting. Yeah, yeah pretty yeah, exciting. Yeah, yeah. Well, what do you think this season's going to bring after the treble last year? How can it get any better? Do you know what? <laughs> Weirdly enough, I think you're going to do better. Not that you can, but... Well, that's, yeah, that's what I mean. I mean, once you've beat, it's yeah, uh, the way it's down, is it? No, yeah. no, I no. don't think so. I don't think... This is Harlan's second season. It, it can only get better. I mean, I, I wasn't expecting Harlan to perform how he did last season. So, I feel like this season's going to be... It's going to be even better. Yeah. yeah. Absolutely, 100%. And is today an important game, or do you just see this as a testimonial type game? I'm going to go with testimonial. I disagree. I feel like all games, they're all important. They're all important. So, um, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm hoping for a win. It will, it will, I feel like it will define what's going to go further on in the season. So, yeah, no, this is an important game. Yeah. Two early goals. Arsenal get one second half. And then a late goal to finish it off nicely. That's what In I think. general terms, after City have won the treble, yeah. what happens now? Got to win it again. Got to keep going, keep going. Stronger and stronger every season. So you think City can do it again? Another I do. treble? I, I, think they're I don't think they'll do it next season, but I think it will happen again fairly soon, yeah.
I do. I think it'll take time to rebuild. We've lost a couple of players, but I think we will rebuild again. Obviously, City have lost two key players so far. They have. In Gundogan, who I thought was magnificent, and Mares. Yeah. Kovacic and Guardiola has come in. Yeah. Does that strengthen, weaken? Time will tell. I think John Stones will do well stepping into midfield. I think he'll replace you know, if you, the weakness there that we've got now. So. Pretty confident. I'm confident, yeah. After all these years, we've got to be confident at last, haven't we? What do you reckon the score's going to be today? 3 1 City. I'm sure you're confident too. Well, that's nice to see here at Wembley. It was an even first half. I thought City started brilliantly with the Kanji in particular getting up high on the left. Crossing, it was only a Ben White header that stopped Alvarez from opening the scoring. But then Arsenal grew into it despite their frustration. Maybe it fueled them with a, a few yellow cards uh, for descent. Um, they actually started pressing Man City back and, and Kai Havertz had a couple of chances that were really well saved. Um, and they'll have some momentum, some confidence going into the second half, but with City, you just never write them off and it wouldn't surprise me if they come through strong and pick up yet another trophy. My question to you is, what did we learn from that Community Shield? Well, it's hard really to tell. Arsenal showed a lot of character and we've got to give them credit for that. Uh, when you bear in mind that Pep Guardiola had come out on top in each of the previous seven meetings uh, in League in the Cup between uh, City and Arsenal, psychologically for Arsenal, that was a, a, a really important win for them. But I'm, back, I'm doing my match report at the moment and in it I'm saying we know what they did last summer. They lost to Liverpool and everybody believed at the time that Liverpool would go on for title domination, that Erling Haaland would struggle. Um, and we all know what happened, so I wouldn't get too carried away with this result. I think what it tells us is that Arsenal are set for another good season, uh, but not really that we should have any reason to worry about City. And here's why. Um, they looked even more potent when Haaland came off. Cole Palmer scored a wonderful goal. I think we can expect to see more of him this season. Josko uh, Gvardiol. £77 million pound defender. He's going to come into that back line, which was the joint best last season. And there is so much about City that says to me that they're going to be the team to beat again this season. So, listen, there are positives for both sides, of course, and I understand that Arsenal will go home happy, but I don't see any reason to, for City to go home deflated at all. Very measured then from uh, Darren Lewis and what did I learn from that game? Well we saw a different shape of City today didn't we with sort of two defensive midfielders with Kovacic who I think will take time to settle playing alongside Rodri who of course is now an exceptional midfielder. We saw two up front um, so is that going to work? Is that going to be the regular pattern? I know Kyle Walker played in this game. If he goes does that mean that Gavardio plays on the left? Ruben Diaz in the middle and Stones on the right. Obviously, Akanji can play and Ake can play as relief players, if you like. Um, looks like a different shape to City this season. They didn't have quite as much of a cutting edge as I'd hoped, but Pep warned against this and did say in his pre-match press conference that it might take a little while for City to sort of settle down after winning the treble. Psychologically, when you've won everything, it's hard to get that 100% back straight away and obviously if they're acclimatising new players as well that adds to complications so he has said he expects ups and downs at the start of the new season this was only the community shield I know if City had won it we'd all be skipping and saying isn't this great and they didn't so that means we all say <laughs> that it was just a glorified friendly but it was somewhere in between I think City 
I actually, if I'm being honest, I thought Arsenal just about deserved to win that over the 90 minutes and they certainly looked like they wanted it more with the penalties. The one observation I would make though, away from the football, is that the away end, there had been a protest by City fans, some City fans in this game, particularly the more vociferous ones, and it was very noticeable. When I was walking around before the game, there were a lot less faces that I recognised, there were a lot more people to people I interviewed just at random were first timers at Wembley and you could tell that the away end was a lot quieter, there wasn't that backing and I think that's a lesson that needs to be learned from this game, from City, from everybody, that City's fans are very, very important. They'll be back of course at Burnley, but don't take the fans for granted. Either the FA, the UA for anybody else, by having these kickoff times and moving games like this to, well obviously I know it's traditionally played in London anyway but take the fans into consideration a little bit more and never underestimate the value of supporters without fans there is no game but City fans are the best anyway so I'm bound to say this aren't I despite defeat still great being a blue